happy Christmas everybody. It is midday on Christmas day and I've woken up to this. What more could you ask for? There's been a break in the rain so I've been able to come out and do a little bit of filming and take some photographs for you guys and then I wanted to show you this uh, lifeboat house that used to be in operation but it's now decommissioned but it's still a beautiful building so we're just going to take a quick tour around it. We can't go inside sadly as it's all boarded up but I just thought I'd film it and show you guys. So I thought I'd start with a voiceover on this next section because of the wind, you couldn't hear me. So this is the one side of the lifeboat house and the ocean is over to the front there. Up ahead is the headland and then you've got the little beach with the beautiful little coast. Round that headland there is the main Fistral Beach and then up ahead is the Headland Hotel and all the cottages there with a path that you can walk to get to the main Fistral. We're going to take a walk up the side of the lifeboat house now so that you can see more of an overview. It's the beautiful pitch roof and these little side buildings. It's a beautiful building and I just wanted to film it to show you guys really. A little bit of graffiti. And sadly all of the windows have been blocked up so you can't actually look inside to see what has been going on. This is the front of the lifeboat house here and these are the main doors where the boats would have originally come out. And there is an upstairs with a lookout window up above. And there is a plaque inscribed above which you can see here. So pause it if you want to read the information there. And there is the window. So those doors are directly positioned opposite the very steep runoff platform which I'm going to move over to the side to show you. And it is extremely steep as you can see. And there's a little bit of a ridge there where the boat would click in and then slide all the way down and shoot off into the water there and they would then be quickly accessible to the main Nuki to get around the headland there and here is the other view of the lifeboat house from the other way as you can see so there's another view of the ramp there so that you can see from the side it is very steep it doesn't look steep on the camera but it is incredibly steep and it's really worn down as well because it's really old got that huge expanse of water to go over to Newquay there which is where I'm pointing and then you've got the sea caves there under the under the main hotel which are beautiful and then you can obviously sail all the way around to the headland there all the way past this peninsula and then over to the other coast there and then this is just an overview of the lifeboat house so you can see it from the other side and then that's the entrance back up into Little Fistral. It is a really beautiful little building and it's all lit up at night and it has this rather ominous kind of feeling. But despite that, it has definitely played an important part in saving lives in the Nuki and Fistral area.
So now we're going to head back to the van and get a cup of tea and something to eat because I'm rather hungry. We're not having a roast dinner but we were going to have a barbecue on the beach. If we manage to do that then we'll film it but if not I hope you guys have had a great day and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. See you later. Thank you.